Hello. In this tutorial I'll try to present the surface follow operator. You can use this operator to force particles to follow the surface of an object. Here the water particles collide with the sphere, follow its surface, and then are released. We start this scene with three objects. First the pipe, which does not interact with the particles. Then the source used for the birth of the particles, which is created from the bottom faces of a cylinder. Then the sphere with a radius of about 12, which will interact with the particles. OK. Let's get it started. Go to the Create tab. From the Geometry drop-down list choose Particle Systems. Add a thinking particle system to the scene. Move the source object a bit upward to make the water look like it's coming from the pipe. Open the Thinking Particles user interface. Create a new particles group. Name it Water. Select Master Dynamic. Create a new dynamic set and name it Create Water. From the Operators drop down list choose Generator. Add a Matter Waves operator to the set. Click on the Pick Object Based Emitter button. Select the Source object from the scene. From the group drop down list choose water. Enable particles per second and leave it to 100 for now. Set the speed value to 75. Set the size value to 1. Close the thinking particles UI to test the animation. We have to increase the randomness a bit, and also the number of particles. Select the Matter Waves operator. Set the lifespan variation to 50%, so the particles will live between 1.5 and 4.5 seconds. Set the speed variation to 15%. Also increase the number of particles per second to 200. Select the master dynamic and disable edit on the fly. From the drop down list choose dots. Drag the time slider to test the animation. Now we have to handle the collision between the particles and the sphere. Open the thinking particles UI. Select the master dynamic and create a new dynamic set. Name it Collision. From the operator's drop down list choose Initiator. Add AP Pass operator to the set. From the group drop down list choose Water. Right click on the outputs and enable Position. We will need this to test the distance between the particles and the sphere. Add a helper node to the set. Click on the Pick Node button. Select the sphere from the scene. Go to the Conditions tab. Add a distance condition to the set. Link Position 1 input to the water particles position output. Link Position 2 input to the sphere position. Select the distance condition. Set Radius 2 value to 12. Remember that the radius of the sphere is 12. If the particles get into this range the condition will be satisfied. Go to the Operators tab. From the drop down list choose Standard. Add a group operator to the scene and link it to the water particles. Enable the on input. Link it to the distance condition output. Now we have to create another particle group. Select the water group and create a new child group. Name it Stick. Set the color for this group to red. This group will contain the particles that will stick to the sphere. If a particle approaches the sphere, the condition will test true, and the particle will be passed to the Stick group. Select the group operator. From the group drop down list choose Stick. 
drag the time slider to test the animation. As you see, the particles turn to red when they hit the sphere. Now we have to make them follow the surface of the sphere. Select Master Dynamic. Create a new dynamic set and name it Stick. From the Operator's drop-down list choose Initiator. Add AP Pass Operator to the set. From the Group drop-down list choose Stick. From the Operator's drop-down list choose Dynamics. Add a Surface Follow Operator to the set. Link it to the stick particles. Add a helper node to the set. Link it to the floor node input of the surface follow operator. Click the pick node button and select the sphere from the scene. For now leave the surface follow operator parameters as they are. Test the animation. As you can see the particles stick to the sphere as they hit it. Set the distance value to 1, to make the particles move above the surface. Test the animation. The particles slow down when they follow the surface. To increase the speed we need to add a gravity space warp. Go to space warps and add a gravity force to the scene. Bind it to the thinking particle system. Open the UI. From the operator's drop down list choose dynamics. Add a standard force operator to the set. Link it to the stick particles group. Activate the gravity force. Now the particle's speed increased a bit. Add a integer helper to the set. Link it to the standard force multiplier input. Set the value to 2. This will increase the speed of the particles even more. Add a friction operator to the set. Link it to the stick particles. Set the friction value to 4. This will make the stick particles to slow down as they follow the surface. Now we have to make the particles fall from the sphere when they are reaching the end of the sphere. For this we need another particles group. Create a new child for the water group, and name it Fall. We can make the particles fall in different ways. I choose to do it with an age test. Right click the stick group outputs, and enable age. Go to conditions, and add a threshold condition to the set. Link it to the age input of the stick particles group. Set the threshold 1 value to 0. As you can see, around frame 40 the particles reach the end of the sphere. Set the threshold to value to 43. Do not check the inside radio box. The threshold will test true if the life of the particle is bigger than 43. Go to operators and add a group operator to the set. Link it to the stick particles group. Enable the on input and link it to the output of the threshold test. From the group drop down list choose fall. Select the fall group and change the color to blue. Test the animation. As you see, the blue particles are falling from the sphere, but they follow the direction they had. We need them to fall straight down. Select the master dynamic and create a new dynamic set. Name it Fall. From the operator's drop down list choose Initiator. Add AP Pass Operator to the set. From the group drop down list choose Fall. Go to Standard Operators. 
add a velocity operator to the set. Link it to the fall particles group. Leave speed and direction selected. Set the speed value to 50. Set the Z user direction axis to minus 1. This will set the direction of the particles downward. Test the animation. Increase the speed value to 80. Now the particles behave OK. It's time to make the particles look like water, but first let's increase a bit the number of particles emitted. Select the matter waves operator. Set the particles per second value to 500. From the operator's drop down list choose shape. Add a meta shape operator to the set. Link it to the matter waves born particles output. Set size value to 3. Set evaluation coarseness value to 2 for both render and viewport. Select master dynamic and enable show mesh. Drag the time slider to test the animation. Select the meta shape operator. Create a material for the water and drag it in the material slot. This is all for now. You can play with different settings to see the changes, and better understand the operators used in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Visit www.community.ro for more.